In this video, I want to show you how you can use Hangouts Meet with your students. So we're going to use Google Classroom alongside this. The first thing we're going to do is create an event in our school calendar. So I'm going to open up calendar and there's calendar here. And this is my calendar. Now you would go to your school calendar. So your list of calendars will be along here. So what I'm going to do is actually create an event for my Hangout. So let's do that now. I'm going to click on an event and this event's going to start at 12.30 today. And this is Hangout. Okay, so then we can go to more options. And then what we want to do is click on this button here that says add conferencing. And we're going to choose Hangout Meets. That gives us a Hangout Meet URL. This URL here is what we want. I'm going to copy that using Control C, and then that is what I'm going to use in Google Classroom to invite my students. So let's save that. So there is my event starting at 12.30 to 1.30 today. Now, what we need to do, we have that URL copied in our computer memory. So let's go to Classroom now. Let's create a new assignment. So we're going to call this assignment. And let's put the date. Then I can put some instructions in there if I want to. And then I'm going to add the link to that Hangout Meet. There it is. Add the link. And now that Hangout Meet is added to our assignment. OK, the next thing I'm going to show you is something that you may want to do as an addition as part of your assignment. Now, because we're in Google Classroom, we can get the children doing something maybe during our class meet. So we could click on create and I'm going to create a document that's going to open up my Google document. I'm going to call this your. And I'm just going to give it a heading. I'm going to click on the untitled document so it actually takes my title and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add insert a table two columns let's add another line so I can use the tab key to add a line and what you want to do is add the same amount of lines for how many students that you've got in your class so I'm just going to then make this a little bit thinner and I'm going to put name and then I'm going to put a question so what the students are going to do is they're going to choose a line and then going to answer that question. Now, this is going to be a collaborative document. So let's make sure there's enough lines in there for each student. Then I can close this down. Then back into my Google Classroom, I'm now going to choose the edit one, the middle one, because what I want the students to do is edit this document together during our classroom meet. That's ready for the students. All I need to do is now give it a topic. So I'm going to call this. And then I'm going to, instead of clicking assign at this point, I want to schedule it. And I'm going to schedule it to the time of my meeting. So it's going to schedule, but I'm going to use five minutes beforehand. I'm going to set it to 12.25 because the Hangout Meet starts at 12.30. And just choose today's date, which is this one. And then I'm going to schedule it. OK, so there's my Hangouts Meet all ready to be scheduled and all ready to start at 12.25. So the students can start joining the Hangout Meet at that point. And I suggest you join that Hangout Meet before 12.25 so they can see you as soon as they get into the classroom. So now as a teacher, what you now need to do is go back to your calendar. And just before the meeting starts, and you can see here, it's just before it starts, is then go into the meeting. So we're going to click on this, and then we're going to click on Join Hangouts Meet. That's going to open up the camera, and it's going to open up the microphone. So here we go, is our microphone and camera, and then we can join now. So that's going to take us into the Hangout Meet. Hi, everyone. Right. So now what we need to do is just wait here until the students start joining. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a student view so you can see what the students see in their Google Classroom and then Hangout Meet. So this is my student view here. And as you can see here, I've got my stream. I'm going to go into Classwork. 
And there is our Hangouts Meet that we assigned earlier today as a teacher. So as a student, I'm gonna click on my Hangouts Meet. I can see my assignment. Here is my virtual learning uh, document. And here is my Hangouts Meet link. So we can click on Hangouts Meet and then that will open up Hangout Meet. You may get a question to enable your uh, microphone and camera. You just need to make sure that that's enabled and then we can join now. I'm gonna turn my microphone off because I don't want feedback and then we click join now. Now you can see the background of the teacher computer, which is my other computer. Wave my hand here. That's my teacher computer. And then this one you're seeing now is of the student. So now as a student, the teacher may say, well, go back to your Google Classroom and open up your virtual learning documents. They can open this document. They can start answering the question within that document by putting in their name here. And every student will then have access to this. It's in the Google Meet. And once the meeting is finished, they can hang up and then it will return back to the teacher. So back as the teacher, now I can see this is the student screen or one of the student screens. And obviously the more students that will actually join, you'll see more students join along the side here. You can also see your own camera up in the corner here, which you can click on at any time. And then go back to just by clicking on the pin at the top here, and that will take you back to the student view. And then once you've finished, make sure that all the students have actually left and then you can click hang up so i can now see that i'm the only person left in here that's the only person so now what i can do is just hang up so that's how we use hangouts meet with the students in our class thanks for watching please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos until next time goodbye